Hi, I'm just going to play through Chitty Chitty Bang Bang from the Grade 1 book and give you some ideas of what to practice. If you have a look at the whole piece, it's always worth giving it a once over before you start. Just make sure you know what key you're in, what scale you might practice, what rhythms you might practice with the scale. So the most obvious rhythm is the chitty chitty bang bang rhythm. And apart from that, it's at bar 19, it changes around, it goes bang bang chitty chitty. So those are the two main rhythms that you need to conquer for this piece. And um, there's a double bar, which I've called letter A which comes at bar seven. So if you have a look at the double bar, that's where the tune actually begins. So I'm going to start just by doing that bit first. And what I'd like you to think about is using the right amount of bow. So rather than worrying about the fingers at the moment, I'm thinking about the bowing. So I'm gonna do nice long crotchets so I'm going to count myself in. So I'm going to count myself in as four, because there are four crotchets in each bar. One, two, three, four. Short, 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 long, long. And here, do a retake. Okay, so we're aiming for... long crotchets being using as much bow as you can at the moment. If we get it faster then maybe you'd have to make them slightly shorter but at the moment just do it slowly and use lots of full bows. I did do a fourth finger in bar nine. Now if you've got, I've actually drawn myself a smiley face here so I can see my smiley face when I'm doing my fourth finger and my elbow is right underneath my violin so I've got no problem reaching for that fourth finger. My thumb is nice and low so again it doesn't have to be up here because then it's quite hard to reach that fourth finger. Great, now the next bit where I did a retake is the same. It's different notes but the bowing we do a scale up and another retake and then the next section it's the same rhythm another fourth finger here and then a really long bow for three beats in bar 18 so we're going to count one two three Another retake in the rest, landing your bow before you play the next bit. Now the next bit is slightly trickier because it changes. <laughs> so we're going to go from third finger on the D string. It's forte, so it's quite loud. This is the one which is bang, bang, chitty, chitty. Now, you have two up bows in this bar, so be careful. I used a bit too much bow there. So you stop your bow for the rest and then carry on with another up bow and a low two, high two on the D string. One, two, three, retake. Now, let me do that bit one more time because that's a bit tricky. So we're going to, from bar 19. Stop the bow, up bow. Low two. High two, because you're playing an F sharp. Long bow. Now here, I'm going to do a retake only to the middle because it's 
MP. So I want it to be quieter. And then what I'll do is I'll use more bow as it gets louder. So we'll start with our bow in the middle. And we're going to play the G's from the MP. And this is bar 23. Okay, so one, two, three, four. Stop the bow, up bow, and then long, slow bows. One, two, three, four, one, two. Now this is where you do pizzicato with your left hand. I think probably it's easier to do it with your third finger. You can do it with your fourth finger. You try, see which one is better for you. See if there's one that's easier. What you're trying to avoid is plucking all the strings at once. Put your, put your finger down on the D string and pluck it. Put it down on the G string and then pluck that and let it ring. Great, uh, I'll just add the introduction. Now the introduction starts MP. So I'm going to start this piece with my bow halfway, not at the heel. So not the nice swanny mountain shape. I'm going to start in the middle like this. And it's MP. And then the next bit, I'll use a little bit more bow. And the third time it comes, in bar five, I'm going to try and use even more bow, so I'm then ready to start the tune at A, M, F. Okay, so I'm going to count in four. One, two, three, four, one. So my last pizzicato was a bit messy, I thought, and also I did get a bit quiet on my last forte. I think I let it let the bow pressure or the the weight of the arm not be quite so strong. Um, I also in bar twenty three, I didn't almost went back to the heels. So just try and get that MP a bit better than I managed it that time. Anyway, that's quite enough. I hope that's helpful. Bye.